Hello guys, uh, in the last video we have seen about how to write the data inside the PS files and different options that we have seen. So now in this tutorial uh, we'll be seeing so what are the different uh, different PDS files or a PDS data sets that we can create that we can create okay and uh, we'll see so normally in the real-time environment so when you look at this so let me do this as cursor so that I can it will be easy for me to move uh, cursor wise so insert okay. then just type press FI button to come down then press insert a new line okay so different PDS files that we can create in real time uh, we will be creating a different set of PDS libraries okay so they are considered as uh, so as in mainframe uh, we know like we have different modules right like JCL like COBOL like uh, DB2 and the PRO VSAM or I can say VSAM is also one kind of thing and they can say it as a PROC okay DCL, COBOL, DB2, PROCs and another is called as a CART okay sorry I will not use this so JCL, COBOL, DB2 and PROC so the and CICS so these are the different modules that we have in mainframe right so for each module you have to write certain program or certain JCL or DB2 queries or proc statements or CICS maps and so on so we have to create a specific folders right if you have a different categories so what you do in a Windows you'll be creating a different folder right so in the same way we have to create a different PDS libraries to get this so what I will do is for in order to have a, all the JCLs to be stored in one library so I will be creating a name called uh, name called JCL lib with it followed by the name or you can create uh, like test.jcl lib or emit or test is a lib. So here you need to understand one more important point here. What is that important point is when you are creating these libraries, right? So we will be having different environments. So the environment can be a test environment, that can be a QA environment, UAT environment, or prod environment. So to identify different environments, so in this all these different environments, we do a testing right so we need to create a different uh, JCL libraries so for that reasons what we do is we will be creating the if it is a test related so then we create the library called test.jcl lib if it is a QA related then we will create the, the QA libraries and if it is a UAT related then you will be creating in UAT libraries and if it is related to a prod, you will be relating, you will be creating a prod related JCL libraries. And this follows the same for COBOL libraries. In COBOL, what we do, we write a COBOL programs that is nothing but it's called as a source program. So that's the reason we can name these as uh, uh, source libraries test.src lib or if it is a QA, QA.src lib or if it is a prod, prod.src lib. Okay. It depends upon the company to company and their standards. So for a better understanding, we these names we can understand like okay, this is related to test, this is related to QA, this is related to a prod. Right? So in this way we can create a different libraries. So if you have a DB2 related programs or DB2 related queries, so you can create a DB2 lib. Okay. And, uh, and one more thing Brock, you can create uh M A D E B K dot S dot Brock rock libraries and if it is something related to CICS then you can do the same like CICS library and I have an assignment for you so if if someone is watching new and is not aware of these what 
these libraries are so for a better practice what you do is just try to create these different libraries when you do your practicing so that's the best way of creating a PDS and practicing it and whenever you write a JCLs so you can just directly go to this library or this PDS and you can make create a new members in this one if you're writing COBOL program better to go to this source lib and create a new COBOL programs if you are working on some DB2 SQL queries or DB2 related programs or other functions that you are creating so you can go to DB2 and uh, the same for procs and CICS in CICS we can have a maps or we can have CICS related programs so those all those things can be written in this libraries or in this PDS members okay so that's it so in this today's video thank you so much for watching if you like this video or if you wanted to watch more and more videos please do subscribe to click on the subscribe button to get more videos and more